a woman's neck. Nobody kills a judge and gets away with it. This is not a safe place. But you knew that already. You knew because you made these marks. One for the law, one for the crime, one for the jailhouse doing time, one for the chicken, one for the pot, one for the water boiling hot, one for the fork, one for the knife, one for the man who beats his wife. An officer of the law lives here. He beats his wife. She bought him a dog. Now he beats them both. here tell a pitiful story. Begin with the baby's death. Call her Elizabeth. Recall the night the animals ate one another. The wind that ripped holes in the sky. Tell her about the fire the voice you heard inside the flames. Scare her. Make her thankful for all of the terrible things. There is no good. There is no ill. There's only the truth changing from day to day. Good place for a handout. If this is written in chalk, come alone, come sober, do not meet their gaze, use your Christian name, talk of your people with respect, leave a different way than you came. If this is written in coal, come at night, wait for a sign. A window propped open with a jar, an apron tied to a broom. If the food is rotten, take it anyway. Show them you've been there. If this is scratched into wood. Wait by the barn. A man will come to feed the animals. Say nothing. Animals show thanks with obedience. You are
These people are rich. That's his hat. That's her dress. The rich have everything to lose. That's the window. That's the tree. You have nothing. That's the door. That's the axe. Kidnapping isn't for amateurs. That's the table. That's the vase. There's always a witness. That's the barn. That's the silo. Sometimes children just die. That's the bank. That's the church. They will hang you somewhere in between. In some cases, you really did have something that you could recognize pretty quickly. Um, this is called Good Place to Catch a Train. And this certainly alludes back to the references I made about hopping trains and using them as a form of transportation. One of the things that I really, as I developed the book and as I would write one poem after another, I would think to myself, maybe this is a poem from the point of view of a younger, someone in their 20s, a, a younger hobo who would sort of have, again, a limited amount of experience. Then other times I would compose them or try to write them from the standpoint of a hobo who felt like he had way, way too much experience. And the goal was to try and create a rhythm to each one of these poems. The other thing that you'll notice is all of the poems except one are written in the second person, you. And that was a purposeful idea as well, because I felt like whenever you read something that uses the second person, you, you thought this, you felt this, you, etc. Um, it begins to inculcate or draw the reader into the poem in a way that uh, was very important to me. And I thought that it was a great way to create this relationship between the reader and the sign as they read it. Good place to catch a train. This is when direction doesn't matter, when time doesn't matter. Only that you put field, forest, and towns between you and where you were, between you and what you were. The faster you move away from it, the smaller it becomes. Even your memories of the woman sleeping, of the child sleeping, of the note's promise when she could look for your return.